I think there's four things, people, places, things to blame for the Travis Scott tragedy that happened at Astral World. Mm -hmm. And after spending a lot of time investigating this, probably entirely too much time watching videos about Travis Scott, mm -hmm. what I think here's here's like kind of the waterfall of blame. Number one, the Houston police and fire department, the people who are in charge of security mm -hmm. in general, the highest ranking security officers at the festival. They had almost 580 police officers, police officers that were there at the event. To give you an idea, at the World Series game, they had 235 police wow. officers. So they understood already from the beginning that there was a there was going to be a propensity for something to happen. Like they, mm -hmm. they had to have, or they wouldn't have beefed up like that. Mm -hmm. Whoever the highest ranking security officer or police officer at that event was, is essentially in charge of saying like, there's trouble and we got to stop this shit right now. Right. Now the ultimate, the ultimate responsibility lies on the executive producer of the event. He ultimately has the, the decision-making power to turn it off. Him and Travis, pull, the, those, plug, pull yep. the plug. Those are the only two, as per the permit, that have the ability to pull the plug. Unless, of course, I guess Armageddon just happened, which essentially is what came close. Yeah. But someone called a mass casualty event around or about 9.30 to 9.45. And at 10.15, there were police officers standing in front of the stage taking videos of Travis Scott and Drake. Mm -hmm. Something was horribly amiss. Yeah, they just weren't paying attention. According to the police department, they coord they had a conversation with the executive producers, Live Nation, mm -hmm. or somebody at Live Nation, and said, mass casualty event, we got to stop this. According to them, that's what they've said publicly. But for some reason, that message either never got to Travis Scott, or it may have not even gotten to other police officers because yeah. they seem to be oblivious to the fact that they're in the middle of a mass casualty event. Mm -hmm. The executive producers and... and the Houston Police Department, in my opinion, are number four on the list of people to blame. Mm -hmm. Number two on the list of people to blame or things to blame is the event planners themselves. Mm -hmm. They put together the most funky crowd. Yeah, the crowd control part of it was not done correctly. It yeah. looks like a, it essentially looks like two E's sitting back to back with each other. Mm -hmm. And then a row down the middle for, of course, wires and cameramen and stuff like that. Like most events would have, you know, all that electricity running to and from the stage has to be controlled by someone way back there. Mm -hmm. So they run all these big data wires and power wires and all this other stuff. So that's pretty normal stuff. But then to put these little crooks and nan, you know, crooks and crannies all over the place where people can essentially get stuck in a corner up against a barricade that they cannot themselves hoist themselves over right they can't just like go over get get out of the crowd yes. go to the side they're stuck exactly so when the crowd starts moving f toward travis at the front of the stage they get stuck in these weird positions and there's no release valve there's no mm -hmm. exit there's no release valve for this this is a this was a recipe for, for disaster from the beginning additionally the astro world itself the place where they held the event has said them has said themselves the the actual location has said we had the ability for up to 200,000 people to be in this general area mm -hmm. that was our capacity when you're an organizer of an event like that and you're only selling 50,000 tickets right the indication is that everything's cool but when you look at the videos of this particular event there is no doubt in my mind, and I think a lot of other people's minds who have experience with this, that's a lot more than, that's a lot more than 50,000 people that are in right. that crowd. There were way too many people in that area. In that in area. That front area where all of a sudden you're backed up to the stage and you can't go anywhere. Or a barricade or whatever. Yes. Yeah, you're yeah. exactly right. What happened, we, we may know, we may never know, but there were way more than 50,000 people in that crowd. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a, doesn't take a particular like, you know, crowd specialist to figure that out. Yeah. Anybody who has ever dealt with crowd sizes, event organizers, your husband, mm -hmm. whatever, will understand that that crowd was a lot bigger than 50,000 people. People were either sneaking in or a lot more tickets were sold than was told to the general public. 50,000 people, that was not. 50,000 people in that poorly designed area was a recipe for disaster. If the next thing, the in my opinion, number two to blame is the crowd itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you go to a concert, you have a general responsibility, in my opinion, and I think everybody everybody I've ever been to a concert with would agree with this. We've been in, Chrissy and I have been to hundreds and hundreds of concerts collectively. Yeah, we have. 
And we have seen lots of shitty situations. Sometimes concerts go well. Sometimes they go sideways. Sometimes the crowd is cool. Sometimes it's just not. It's a, like a dick crowd, right? The energy is bad. And I have to say, though, just in my opinion, that the, the crowd, the type of crowd is also feeding off what the entertainers are saying. And what the entertainers yeah. are feeding them. And, and, and if they're encouraging people like, let's go wild, let's crazy, fuck the police, fuck this, whatever, you know, they're going to act that way. I mean, th- that's that Lollapalooza thing that was on yeah. uh, Hulu, too, that yeah. we talked about uh, yeah, episodes uh, ago and how people just went crazy, started fires. You oh, know, oh, you did, mean uh, the, Woodstock, Woodstock the, 99. I'm sorry, the Woodstock yeah. 99, yeah. When you go to a concert... And, and I agree with this. I think that Travis himself has set the mood from early on, early days, the guy set the mood that if you weren't moving and breaking things, essentially, then you, in his eyes, mm-hmm. you weren't, you weren't a part of his crowd. Right. And he wanted to encourage everybody from the front to the back to get crazy and quote unquote rage, mm-hmm. which we, we all, listen, I might be a little bit older than most of the people who attended Astroworld, but I know what that means. Yeah. I've literally been to a rage show, a rage I, against I the machine I have too, show. yeah. Yeah. And the, the, the responsibility lies on everybody else and you, you, to take care of the people around you. If That's somebody true. falls out, you pick them the yeah, fuck help up. Them. Yes. Help them. You pick them the fuck Pay up. Pay attention. Pay attention. Be situationally aware. If things are getting too hairy, move somewhere else. If you can't move for, for somewhere else, stay calm and tell the people around you, like, be that guy. If everybody else is panicking and you stay calm, people are going to look to you. They're going to go, mm-hmm. that guy's calm. He must know what's going on. He understands something. Guys, people are in trouble here. Everybody calm down and let's figure out how to make room for each other. Let's pick this girl up. Stop stepping on this young child. You have to help each other. This lesson will be learned the hard way, and it's really sad. But through many years of experience, I know this. Mm -hmm. You don't ignore someone who's in trouble at a concert or any event where there's a lot of people. You help, you make sure you're safe yourself, you help and you don't panic or lead to additional drama. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, a small group of extraordinarily selfish assholes decided that the most important thing for them that night was getting as close to Travis Scott as possible and they caused everybody else to panic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that is a panic mentality too. It's once you think. Fe- it, yeah. it is once you feel that. And I've been rarely, but I have been in those situations before. One was at a sporting event to where you just, you all of a sudden you, you, you're panicking. You're like, there's a crowd behind me yeah. that's going to come and do cr- crush over me if I don't move. And if I didn't have a place to move, that's you would have been crushed, crushed yourself. Mm-hmm. This is how it works is that group think men- mentality is basically that energy that, that we have in our bodies moves from person to person. The mob mentality, same yeah. thing with January 6th, <clears throat> in a way. In a way, yeah. yeah. But that was kind of, I think there was some pre-planning that went on there, but a mm-hmm. lot of people were just there and got caught up in yep. what was going on. But once one person starts panicking or once one asshole starts pushing, other assholes start pushing. Yeah. And then the people who are innocent bystanders in this, they get caught up in the group think mentality. And once panic sets in, it's everyone is fucked because now everyone's freaking out and Mm -hmm. there's no, there's no level head like Travis Scott or an event producer or many, many security guards or police officers. And I'm not saying that every police officer is complicit in this. I want to be clear about this. I actually think that the paramedics, a lot of the security officers and probably a lot of the police officers did the best they could under the circumstances. Mm -hmm. They did not have enough medics. They didn't. I've heard from many people that said, I mean, they just didn't have enough people to help with they the never ex- yeah they never expected this kind mm-hmm. of drama and that yeah, and I, i'm sure that will go into future event planning like oh, they yeah. will say to themselves like we need more medics just in case the crowd when you go to a concert you have to stay calm and cool and help those around you it's your responsibility as a as a music loving whoever the artist is you know pearl jam uh taylor swift travis scott you know big boy Andre 3000, whatever, whoever you're going to see, your responsibility is to take a look to the left, take a look to the right, be situationally aware and say to yourself silently or out loud, I am going to make sure you're okay, brother. That's our sister. I'm going to do that because tonight we're going to have a good time. Everyone's leaving with our arms and their limbs. Mm -hmm. The number one person responsible, in my opinion, for what happened at Astroworld is Travis Scott. Yeah, I agree. Regardless of whether or not he actually understood what was going on in the moment, he has many, for many years, incited this kind of 
activity. Mm -hmm. He has encouraged it. He has told the people in the in his crowds, fuck the security, fuck the police, jump those barricades, get as close as you can. And if you are not literally crashing into other human beings and acting crazy, you are not my person. Mm -hmm. And these kids and adults just want to be part of the action. Yeah. And uh, for that, Accepted. I understand. I get it. Yeah. I went to fish shows. I went to Pearl Jam. I've been to lots of, I've been to hundreds and hundreds of shows. You want to be a part of what's going on right. because that's, that's, that's the love of music that we have. And we get all excited. And, you know, and when people are dancing like idiots around you at a fish show, you want to dance like an idiot around you because that's the energy that is mm -hmm. seeping in. Travis Scott asked his fans to do this. Whether he said specifically, I want you to crush other people at Astroworld, he didn't do that. What he did do was he encouraged through marketing, promotion, his personality, and through his words on stage, he asked people to eventually hurt each other in this manner. And that had already happened earlier in the day, right? Yeah. They had crashed through the metal detectors. Many people, yeah. hundreds. There's videos out there. Yeah. And they, that should have been an indication of the mood, the vibe. Uh, I think that it's clear that this was bound to happen from almost the moment that sunlight broke on, on the day of Astro, somebody was bound to get hurt. And Travis himself has the ultimate responsibility for calming everybody mm -hmm. down. He should have, he should have been situ situationally aware himself. He should have been the person to say, I'm going to make sure brothers and sisters that you get out of here with your legs, with your arms and your, and your legs. I'm going to make sure your of life, that. your life. And he should have said at some point, stop there are many yeah. examples of this, of people doing oh, this. Oh, very, yes. Yeah. When Pearl Jam, uh, in uh, many years ago, for some of you that don't know or don't know, eight people also died at a Pearl Jam concert in a very similar situation where it was very muddy and people rushed the stage. And when they rushed the stage, a lot of people slipped and fell and other people trampled over them. Eight people died. Pearl Jam stopped the show. Yeah, you know why? You because to. people were dying, right. right? Many examples on video of other people stopping shows to help one specific person. Mm -hmm. Adele stopped a show to help one specific girl who passed out. She saw it and she stopped the show for literally five minutes until the medics got there. And so many other examples. You can go on YouTube and, and look at them. They're popping up all over the place. He should have stopped the show and he should have said, guys, something, I don't I don't know exactly what's going on. I haven't heard, but I can see. Yeah, I can see. You can feel that. Can you can feel see that. that. He could see. How could he not see a whole I've of 40 people in the middle? I've been on stage with a band, a huge band playing, and there's thousands and thousands of people out in the crowd, and it's amazing. But you can see, you can see the pockets of yes. people, and especially the people up front, yeah. and that they're getting crushed. They're getting crushed. The people yeah. on the, he can see in the middle where they're yeah. pulling people out. He literally is looking at a dead body as they're as they're raising it, right? And as they're pushing it around, guys, this if if Travis Scott didn't understand that something was wrong in the crowd then maybe Travis Scott doesn't need to perform live without mm -hmm. the aid of someone else there yeah. to tell him what exactly what's going on in the crowd at every minute because it is yeah, highly... Yeah, make studio music and we'll listen to that. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think there's going to be a big backlash though I think that him. Yeah, I think Travis may not play live for a very long time yeah. if he ever does it all to that kind of crowd yeah. again. And I think it's going to be hard for him to prove that he didn't incite this or didn't have a, a responsibility. I don't know Travis Scott. I don't know him well. I'm sure he's not a person who like, is. he's not a murderer. Mm -hmm. You know, he doesn't want to kill people, but it doesn't matter. Especially not his fans. Yeah, especially not his fans, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because for years you've been telling people to hurt each other and they finally did. Mm -hmm. And so when you go to a concert, mind your brother and sister. If you don't, if they don't make it out in one piece, essentially, you have bruised yourself, right? That's mm -hmm. the way it goes. Take that lesson to oh, so many concerts moving forward in the future. And number two, the artist has a responsibility to understand what's going on at all times. Just be situationally aware and help if they can. If they can stop the show and help, he should have stopped the show and help. Not for 30 seconds while playing creepy music under it. He should have stopped the show and he should have said, we're going to do this a different day when everybody can chill out. That's it. And to all you selfish assholes out there who just decided to step on people's faces and heads so that you could get your phone a little bit closer to Travis mm -hmm. Scott, fuck you. Mm -hmm. That's a really shitty thing to do, and you will live with that for the rest of your life. Whether you're worried about it today, whether it's on your conscience now, someday you're going to wake up when you have your own children or when you have people that you give a shit about, 
you're going to wake up and you're going to go, that was the worst thing that I've ever done in my entire mm -hmm. life was purposefully step on another human being so I could get my camera a little closer to Travis Scott. That's why they had the big video boards up. Yeah. Commercial break <laughs> in the studio.